Hey all, here at OS Reviews. Today we'll be taking a quick look at the Tozo NC9s. These are a pair of TWS wireless buds, which are relatively affordable, selling for under 60 bucks, and they pack active noise cancellation along with wireless charging battery case, and also do have a pretty clean design. Reminds me of some IEMs or in-ear monitors, despite the low price. Now the brand isn't necessarily mainstream, but they have been around for a couple of years now, making these affordable wireless buds, and the reputation seems to be mostly positive. One of the things I do like about these NC9s is again the colors that you can pick between, like this very vibrant red edition, though you can also pick between more classic white, black, blue, brown, and even a champagne color. They also have a NC9 Pro edition, which packs very similar functionality. However, that one supports a companion app, which is just a software feature that allows you to customize things like the intensity of the ANC, as well as the EQ allows you to more fine tune those things, which unfortunately, the regular NC9 is not supported, which I think is a little disappointing because again, that's really just a software limitation. Nothing in the hardware is preventing them from supporting that in the app, but they've made that decision to try and delineate from their more premium version. But anyways, other features they tout include optical sensors so they can auto play and pause the music when you are listening and removing them from your ears. 9.2 millimeter drivers are also a little bit larger than average, so they should pack bigger sound. And the battery life is very competitive. The buds themselves can get you 10.5 hours of continuous music listening. That's a little closer to eight hours if you have ANC on. And then with the battery case combined, up to 32 hours of listening time. And on the inside, we have just a quick pamphlet that tells us how to very quickly set it up. Thankfully, you can control everything that you need directly on these buds. So that includes changing the volume higher and lower, as well as tap once to play, pause your music. You can also tap to control the ANC audio transparency modes and cycle between those things. And all of the adjustable silicon tips have been also neatly organized down below, although this isn't color coordinated to be accented red. Last but not least, you also find a standard USB Type-C charging cable. So taking a closer look at the design of these NC9s, overall I would say they are relatively elegant and clean, but don't necessarily stand out too much aside from the colors. And the casing itself is relatively compact, so here's a quick size comparison with something like the Apple AirPods, just to have a reference. They are easy enough to put into a pocket when you're on the go, despite having pretty good battery life. And there are LEDs on the bottom as well that will tell you how much juice is remaining in the case out of four bars. Finally, on the back here, just a Type-C port. The hinge is made out of plastic as opposed to aluminum, which you'll find on some of their more premium models. And here's just a quick demo of the Qi wireless charging in action. Just set it on top and the charging there will start. Inside is slightly coated in a layer of soft touch rubber that uh, overall makes it ensure everything is charging and pressing down into the case. The buds themselves, again, are magnetic, pretty easy to pop in and out, and they do rely on completely touch controls for all of the navigation, which did feel pretty sensitive in my testing thus far. Shape here does remind me a lot of traditional in-year monitors. It's not a bad thing. They are pretty ergonomic, especially in terms of the way that the molding here curves. And in general, when I popped these in, they felt very comfortable and secure. Here's a quick size comparison with standard AirPods. So as aforementioned, Tozo does have a companion app, but it only works with the NC9 Pros and some other variants in their collection, potentially allowing you to change things like touch controls, the intensity of ANC, EQ, but like I said, right now you just won't find this model under the list of supported devices. But as just a very basic pair of Bluetooth connected headphones, it still offers a very simple connection process. Just go into standard Bluetooth settings on your phone or tablet, and then you'll find the NC9s tap to pair. Didn't notice too much dropped connections, which is great. Even though these are using standard audio codecs with Bluetooth 5, including SBC and AAC, but doesn't support Qualcomm's Aptex. So with that out of the way, really the only thing to discuss would be the audio quality, and for the most part, the NC9s thankfully don't disappoint, and they sound very clean, they have a nice dynamic punch to them thanks to the larger drivers, so if you are a bass head, you'll definitely hear the kick of lower frequencies, drum beats, bass do sound very good. At the same time though, you can still hear lots of details and mids and trebles, instrumentals and vocals were still enjoyable, they didn't feel too tinny or recessed. So as a whole, they are very comfortable in terms of the tuning and the way that they sound. I would say it's better than average. Now having said that, if you are comparing them with even more expensive audiophile uh, TWS buds, they can still pack in more detail in the trebles, but 
With that being said, as far as casual music listening is concerned, they already sound great for things like pop music, EDM, just watching back a YouTube video, certainly didn't have any issues. And they are very clean as well. So you won't hear really any hints of static, no hissing. Even with ANC turned on, it didn't really impact the sound profile, still had a very consistent dynamic sound. And it was plenty loud and energetic, pleasant, like I said, to listen to. Now, speaking of ANC, I would say this is also one area where it's a little bit better than I expected. It, I would rate these to be above average in the budget territory. Uh, that being said, they're not going to rival the best of this category, including from Bose and Sony, but they get around, I would say, 75% effective in terms of blocking lower frequency sounds like car engines and computer fans. That being said, humans' voices and higher frequency sounds, like most ANC buds, are still going to be hard to completely isolate. And sometimes you'll still hear some of those sounds creep in. Transparency mode also did the trick, surprisingly, even though the microphone in these kind of dot-shaped designs are further away from your mouth, but I was still able to have a conversation. With that being said, I would say call quality is really just so-so, and that does come with the fact that, again, the mics are further away from your mouth, so if you are always talking in a really crowded, busy environment, then there might be better options to consider. However, for general usage, especially indoors, uh, in relatively moderate noise environments, they still sounded fine. I would say if you like the way that these look, especially with all the customizable accents that you can pick between, the NC9s certainly aren't shabby. With that being said, this is a very competitive market now, crowded with all of these wireless buds. We've reached almost a saturation point so it's pretty hard to stand out and to do that they can go to the next level just by offering that app support it would make them even more complete despite this being the non-pro edition but like i said in terms of the pure audio quality as well as the ease of use just open them up to use them they are quite strong so you can check out more details if you're interested a simple but overall elegant pair of anc enabled buds these have been the tozo nc9s 